Hakuna mtu anaonewa hapa. International Albinism Awareness Day was marked today without the usual eventful celebrations due to the pandemic. Riding on the theme Med to Shine, stakeholders had the opportunity to look at the successes, challenges and the future of people with albinism in Kenya. Celebrations of the 5th International Albinism Awareness Day was a low-key affair. Unlike in the past, Albinism Society of Kenya just managed a press conference as the National Council for Persons with Disability settled for a studio interview to reflect on the day. The government uh, has actually given uh, persons with, with albinism a kitty of uh, 100 million each and every financial year. Uh, this fund is to take care of persons with albinism in this country in terms of buying them the sunscreen lotion. We continue to suffer, to suffer from what I call in-betweenness. We are white, but not white enough. Black, but not black enough. Disabled, but not disabled enough. The struggle is far from over. Statistics from the Kenya Bureau of Statistics show that Kenya has a population of about 10,000 people with albinism. Meru County leads with 563 people, with Isiolo recording just 20 persons with albinism. The National Council for Persons with Disability and the Albinism Society of Kenya feel at least the ground has begun shifting in favor of persons with albinism. And we really thank uh, the government for uh, coming up with those figures because from where I sit in the program, we had registered only 3,000 uh, 700 uh, persons with albinism in the whole country. And from now the census, you can see, um, it has brought in a very big number. Although people with albinism have had many challenges inspired by myth and rituals, enhanced awareness by state agencies in collaboration with other players are bearing fruits. However, with COVID-19 and many containment measures put in place by the government, there appears to be more pressure on their lives. Let us embrace persons with albinism by their contribution in the society and not by their being sympathetic because of their skin color. We don't need sympathy. We just need to be included in the society and let us bring our contribution to the society. Many persons with albinism have lost their jobs and they have reduced income due to the pandemic and uh, most of them have been left to be destitute. The government continues to put several measures in place aimed at tackling the many problems affecting people with albinism. Already, there is a special kitty of about 100 million shillings set aside by the government meant to procure and provide enough sunscreen to all individuals living with